Today I'm going to be showing you how to take the head of the engine off of a Silica 2000 through 2005 GT. First thing you're going to need to do is take the negative lead off the battery and then you're going to need to drain the radiator fluid and oil. The oil pan is a 14 millimeter screw. Once you have both of those done, you need to take the plastic cover off the top of the engine, which I've already done. And I have already taken the uh, spark plug casings off as well. To do that, there are ten, I'm sorry, uh, six 10 millimeter bolts. There's one, two, three, four, then five, and six. Then you need to push these off to the back and to the side as much as you can. After that, there's going to be two vacuum tubes you need to take off, this one and this one. And also take off the cap to the oil. Put it off to the side. <coughs> and to get the valve cover off, which is this top piece right here, you're going to need to take off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten millimeter bolts around the side, and then one, two, ten millimeter bolts off the top. Once you get all those off, then you can just pull the valve cover right off. I made a mistake. One of the nine bolts on your valve cover is actually going to be this stem, and this stem is a 12 millimeter. Also, there's going to be rubber gaskets on all of your uh, spark plug feeds, so you're going to want to take the rubber gaskets off of all four of those so you don't lose them in your engine lighter. So now that the valve cover is off, the next thing we're going to do is remove the serpentine belt. To do this, you're going to need a 19 millimeter wrench and it's going to have to be boxed in. There's no way you're going to be able to fit a breaker bar and a socket in there. So there's a, uh, it almost looks like a bolt head but it's actually part of the engine You on the on the actual uh, cover of the engine. What you do is you put the 19 millimeter on there. It should stick up right about here. And then you're going to have to pull this as hard as you can and then with the other hand get that belt off. For me it takes two people. Uh, but I'm kind of a small guy, so it might just take one for you. So now that the serpentine belt's off, we're going to take the intake manifold off. To do that, first we're going to need to take the dipstick out. <coughs> and then after you take the dipstick out, you're going to have to undo one tab and two tabs right here from the electrical lines go into your fuel injectors. And then after you get those tabs undone, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts that you're going to have to undo. And this diagram shows it a lot better because I know that there's bad lighting. Once you get those seven bolts off, then you can pull the intake manifold back so you can get to your alternator and some other pieces of the engine. Next is the heat shield and the exhaust manifold. The heat shield is going to have two 12 millimeter bolts here on top and then down there there's two more 10 millimeter bolts that you're going to have to take off after you get those off then you're just going to let the heat shield drop down onto the uh, pipe going back to the exhaust then after that is the exhaust manifold the exhaust manifold looks just like it does in this diagram as you can see there's five bolts you're going to have to take those off and once you take those off your exhaust manifold is just going to drop back where the heat shield is right now you can push it back all these bolts are going to be very very hard to break if you haven't broken them in a while because it's very very hot back there so it's going to be cement the, the bolts will be cemented in because of the heat Allied, all of the bolts on the heat shield are actually 12 millimeter not 10 and that includes the exhaust manifold as well those are 12 millimeters also watch out when you are trying to get the bolts off of the exhaust manifold because it is very sharp right here and your hands got to be right here grabbing the ratchet to get them out. The last thing you have to do to get the exhaust manifold off is go to the underside of the car and find where the heat shield meets the exhaust pipe. There's going to be two 12 millimeter bolts and a 14 millimeter bolt. You have to take all three of those off and then <clears throat> since it's so hot to get the exhaust manifold off of the actual head you need to take a crowbar and pry it off. Next I'm going to take out the fuel injectors, which is just two 12 millimeter bolts. 
And after that, I'm going to take off all of the things on the right side of the engine. I took a picture of the new head that I have, and it has uh, eight spots on it, plus two hoses, eight bolt spots. Mine is missing a few. I don't know about yours, but I would label it really well because they're all quite different. So I took a picture and then labeled it all. Next, you want to take off this bolt holding the ground in, this bolt, the one under that, and then there is a bolt holding a sensor right in here you need to get off, and a bolt there, and there's another bolt, 10 millimeter bolt under that, you can't really see right there, that you need to take off. So once you get everything off, it's time to take the rockers off. To get the rockers off, first thing I do is tie up the chain. It's going to save you some time if you make sure that the chain doesn't slide off of the bottom gear at the very bottom of the engine. So I tie it up and then the first thing I do is take the uh, gear off of the back rocker and that's going to be a 14 millimeter bolt. Once you get that gear off then you can undo all the rest of the bolts on here, all the 10 millimeters and the 12 millimeter bracket and then you can uh, slide the second rocker off and get the whole assembly off. Once you have the rockers off, you're going to have access to these 10 long bolts that go from the head into the body of the engine. You're going to need to take those out, and they have 12 point star head attachments. So that's the attachment right there, and they're going to have quite a bit of torque on them, so they're going to be hard to get out. So I forgot about a bolt under the chain. There's one down there that's holding a plastic, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a, a chain a guider for the chain that's bolted into the head. We need to get that out. We also need to get that one, this bolt in the back, loosened out just enough so it's not sticking in the head. Once you get all those bolts off, then you can use a crowbar, find some leverage somewhere else on the engine, and pry the head of the engine off. It's going to be stuck on there with silicon or uh, whatever kind of adhesive is on your head gasket, so it's going to take some leverage. When you're putting the engine back together, make sure to keep in mind that you need to get the timing on the timing chain correct, that you need to replace the head gasket and the exhaust manifold gasket, and also make sure that you get the torque on the head bolts right. All of this you can find in other videos which I'll link in the description. Thanks for watching, hope it helped.